previous on Ben Phillips. I took Elliot on his dream tag experience day where he ends up blowing up his own car. I left him 200 miles away from where we live and he finally turned up but with a grenade in his hand trying to blow me and the boys up. He actually ended up just blowing up our local gardener, Bill. You donk! Sorry, Bill. Me being the good brother that I am, bought Elliot a brand new car. Your new car! <laughs> this isn't your car. I got you an exact replica of your car. I bought him his old car. Yeah, from eBay. I really do feel bad for one of your car, Elliot, and I try to do something nice for you. Look at what you get! And I'll rate and I get this piece of shit again! Two words. Sorry, bro. Oh! Where's the keys? Well, I thought you had the keys! Oh, and, and I forgot to give him the key. That being said, I got Elliot the most amazing mystery holiday because I feel like I've really tortured him over 2016, 17, and now 18. I haven't thought this through. I haven't got my passport. I've got your passport, you don't. Come on, go. This is it. I don't really spend the money right You don't need to spend the money in the bag. It's all done, Elliot. All you've got to do. There's no illegal things in here like a bag of money or something now, is there? <laughs> it's all legit. Elliot, listen. Hang You're going to have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Okay, it seems pretty legit. Listen, bro. Enjoy yourself, okay? I shall. Thank you for this. The only problem is, what does the God of Pranks do when the God of Pranks... What are you doing? I'm, I'm being momentous. I'm, I'm being philosophical. You said be godly, be kingly. Yeah, but you're Ben from YouTube. You're not Optimus Prime. What does the God of Pranks do when he has no one to prank? The real question is, who's the next target? As great as it was sending Elliot on holiday for a week, it actually sucks because I've got no one to prank. But I have got a lot of fan mail to read. You guys send me mail about how much you love the videos, but today I had a fan mail asking me to prank the boss. Dear Ben, I'm writing to you in desperate need of help. It's my job, while well, my boss. He's a bully. My boss owns the local car wash I work for. I've worked there for three years now. He makes me clean cars with my tongue. He makes me clean cars with my nipple. Ben, please prank my boss. Danger Derek 10. P.S. Long-standing fan since Elliot's black tooth was white. Sorry, bro. Tell us what your situation is. My situation is I've been working in this car wash for, I don't know, Eight years now, we're cleaning red cars, blue cars, green cars, white cars. One day, this dude had like this brown stuff all over the inside of his white car. I had to taste it <laughs> what? to make sure that, well, we weren't sure if it was chocolate or shit. All right? <laughs> okay, 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 I've had enough. enough, bro. I've had enough. What is this guy's name? <laughs> Gerald. Have you got a picture of Gerald so I know exactly who I'm targeting and what I'm looking for? <laughs> there he is. Oh my gosh, they literally looks like Santa Claus owns a soft wash. Santa Claus on Coke. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we got some work to do here, Carl. Gerald, you have met your match. It is time to prank the boss. Yes! So here's the plan. I'm gonna take a white expensive car to the workshop where we're gonna get it painted with black magic spray. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a thick kid's paint that washes off. That being said, Gerald has absolutely no idea. We're gonna get the owner of the car to tell Gerald, I'm just gonna get some food, I'll be back in five minutes. Obviously Gerald's gonna put it through the car wash, the car's gonna come out white on the other side, meaning Gerald, the only thing you're gonna be rinsing is your cash when you pay the bill. Sorry bro. Mirror image accident repair center. Shame they can't fix Elliot's blooming face. This is Jason, this is Mark. They're the ones who are going to turn this white Mercedes in here into a black Mercedes. The car's not been keyed, so there's a 50 50 chance whether it will stick or not. What do you mean 50 50 chance? Mm. It, might, it might not come off. It might come off, but it might not come off. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it to the professionals now, but yeah, well, that's you. Oh my days, 
suck at the paint job on this car. <laughs> so we are here, we have Zed here, he is the... ZDB man is on the channel. <laughs> Brap, on this, on this. <laughs> so we got to say, he's the guy driving the car. That's the car wash over there. The boss is waiting there, the employer's there. Make sure as soon as you find out this paint is gone, you've got all crazy. Get your baseball back, get your gun, go mad, bro. As soon as this car is brewing, man is on fire. Man's breaking legs today, I swear to God, it's going to go off in there. Cool, we're just going to rain, bro. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, What's happening, boss man? Right, yeah, can on? I have four valets? Yeah. Yeah, um, I'll have everything done inside and out, please, bro. Okay. Is it alright if I can leave the car here with you? I'll nip over get a KFC. On, Is then, that mate, cool, yeah, bro? Up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here we come. Don't look at us, don't look at us. workers with baseball bat after paint is stripped off his Mercedes but it turns out to be an ill-judged prank. Representative the car wash says it was performed by actors and it was all a stunt. I think the moral of the story Gerald, use the right soap. I am very pissed off right now. Calm down because no. you ruined my car. It, it's not that bad. I never it's you do not understand the pain that car goes through. It's I a car. Like about 50 women in that car. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, the flight today has been diverted, and we will shortly be arriving in Iraq. 
<laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hit the like button and subscribe. And guess what? I now have my own cartoon channel as well. So please, please, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Elliot, you donk. Please, just let me down.